Hey guys, so we're gonna head out for a little ride. I brought the GoPro, so I'll try to safely get a little bit of footage while I'm riding the bike. And uh, here is the bike. And I've got the, I've got the H1 here. Uh, I've got the lock screen mode on, which is very, very cool. We're sending off APRS beacons. The question will be, how good is this thing? So let's put it to the test. I'm going for a little ride for a uh, barbecue about five Ks up the road. We'll get on the road. All right, let's see how good this thing is. Woo, all right. I've got a confession to make. I know nothing about APRS, uh, but Red of Us were very, very kind to send me a uh, quick how-to video on to in uh, how to install and get the APRS and the GPS set up on the radio, and it was an absolute breeze. I don't need to have any wires. I don't need any other hardware, no computers. This thing is apparently a standalone, and I've seen myself uh, spotted on the APRS screen, so my beacon is being picked up. Uh, but very, very cool. So if you're a beginner like me, I knew nothing and I've been wanting to do this. So I want to do a shout out to my buddy, Bill, uh, VE7AJK, hamradioprices.com. G'day, Bill. Uh, Bill's a, a big APRS fan and uh, it all just sounds so good. So I'm really excited to uh, to be able to say that I've crossed crossed the floor, if you will, or uh, jumped over that, uh, that bridge and now I'm into APRS mode or territory and I absolutely love it so far. It's fantastic. Uh, seeing who can be heard, who can hear me, etc. So uh, it's a very, very, very easy learning curve if you're starting out on APRS. And that is a huge plus for the H1 right there. Because I know some of the other radios that have claimed to have uh, APRS capabilities have been pretty clunky. All right, I've got the GoPro. I'm going to put this phone in the, uh, the pannier and I'm going to get riding. All right, here we go. Woo! We are cruising down the road. Well, I'm at my first destination. APRS, the rescue, Year festival, jazz festival 2025. Well, there you go. This just popped out of the, just fell out of the cradle in the back and it's still working. And we've been transmitting for, oh gee, Four hours, we've still got plenty of battery. Some nice man gave it back to me. So I'm gonna make sure that that's a bit tighter. So, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Woo. Well, about half an hour later, and about 30 Ks later, I'm home. And let's see how this thing fared. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, turn this off. And uh, let's see how the APRS performed with this stock antenna. Well, good day, mates. Thing. Well, that was an absolutely fantastic experience playing APRS on my e-bike. And a couple of observations. Um, so this antenna, obviously, you can do a lot better than that, but for out of the box, it works great. And I was uh, heard, my beaconing was heard. Also, I did have, uh, just to preserve the battery, because I didn't know what I was doing, I did have the uh, the interval set to one minute. So if I did it, to, if I did it again, which I will, I'll set it, set it to the minimum uh, setting, which is 30 seconds. All right, guys, we are off. Got the tracking in the back. And I've got to concentrate on the riding, but you'll see on the map. Unbelievable, APRS. H1 for the win, baby. So what I'm going to do here real quick, I'm going to unlock the screen, and I'm just going to get a radio check on one of the uh, on one of the local repeaters here. Uh, this is VA7, VIX, requesting a radio check, please. Let's see if somebody comes back to me. And uh, this is very, very cool. Seven MHA, hey Sam, you're a little fuzzy, but strong. Just give me a call sign, mate. I'm doing a little video for the Red of us uh, H1, over. Uh, Victor Echo 7, Mike Hotel India. G'day, John. Uh, uh, Victor Echo 7, Mike Hotel India. Good to hear you, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying the new um, H1 uh, Redivus uh, radio that's got APRS. And uh, how, how's my uh, signal? I'm, I'm right on the edge, but is the audio okay? 
yeah, it's, it's totally workable. Um, I like high end uh, stuff. I find clarity in that. So it's just saying, yeah, no, 130 or so. Could have more of that stop. So maybe it's muffled, maybe it's a waterproof membrane or something. But uh, it's totally readable and it works. The H1 for the wind, guys, right. I'd, I'd highly recommend it. I love this radio. Uh, I'm still learning it. Uh, the good thing is about this, it's very intuitive. Basically, you just press that left button and then you're into the, the main menu. Just awesome. Fantastic. All right. All right, there we go. So that's Mount Seymour, guys. So that's 118 kilometers away. Go ahead, let me. Uh, yesterday, do you have my check-in? I think uh, Jim uh, Victoria said so what I'm going to try and do is get as close as I can to the ocean to see if I can get into this repeater. Woohoo! Souk, which is about uh, 30 kilometres that way. Oh yeah, that's really strong. Uh, Victoria. Really strong. Uh, the other one, another Victoria repeater. That's good. And then there's Mount Seymour, which I can't like any do. So let's get into a local repeater and just get a radio check. Uh, just to just to hear what sort of audio quality we're looking at here. All right, guys. All right, so we're able to get into Souk, uh, which is about 30-odd kilometres away. Uh, we can hear Mount Seymour, which is over 100. And these repeaters at Mount uh, at Victoria are about uh, 20 to 25 kilometers away. Let's, uh, let's get a radio check, shall we? Uh, this is VA7, BIX, VA7, BIX, requesting a radio check. I'm on the Redivus H1, over. You've killed it. This is fantastic. The H1 for the win. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And 7-3. Uh, Woohoo!